Hey there, and welcome back to Yume Nikki. Well, let's get back into things, shall we? Well, time to get the next thing onto the to-do list. But first, I gotta turn down my audio a little bit. I took a small break and audio got messed up a bit, but... Off to find more effects. Now, I believe that what I need to go is in here. In Puddle World. Looks a little bit like the lamp place we were in, but it's different. It's different in a way. We find this. It basically does a very similar thing as Yuki Ona. You know, I never actually shown off Yuki Ona. She makes it snow. And if you press. And if it's snowing, and you put on this, and press one, now you're a snowman. Snow metal. Can't access the menu while I'm snow metal. So. Uh, and then up this way, like a little bit this way, probably. Is this which leads us here? I think if we head off this direction, we'll get to a large road area. Hello, friend. I'm not interested in you right now. It's just a really long road. And I, I, I have to say, I've had dreams about just going down a really long road. Maybe not so much with these things in the background, but I very much had dreams of just going down a road forever. And this area basically loops forever, so the only way out is to go back where you came. And now you're somewhere else. This is a corpse, but it should, here we go, give you a new effect. And that effect being, uh, where is it? There it is. And you, you just, this will make certain NPCs just stop, but it does, this does trigger an event somewhere later on in the game. That I'll get to. So. Now, sometimes this is open, sometimes it isn't. In this case, it's just not. So, with that being the case, I think we shall. Back to the Nexus. Now, the next thing I want to do is probably going to be hell. I'm probably going to have to cut it out. But, you know. You know, I said it's probably going to be hell, like, like a, a figure of speech, but we're literally going back to the hell area. The hell maze. And I'm not very excited about that, but, you know, it, the hell area leads to a lot of areas, so, unfortunately, you gotta go through it a lot. Such is when mazes are in these types of games. Okay. 
once again, I will cut it out most of it because no one wants to watch me struggle through a maze for ten minutes. And I'm almost to where I need to be, so I'm, I'm back. And I think these stairs are it. Now this is a pleasant area. It's another area that a lot of people don't like because it's another maze, technically, but I don't know. I like the music here. I like the aesthetic. I don't know. And it's not that complicated. It's not nearly, nearly as bad as the hell maze. There's an area in, in, uh, in Yume Tuki that is based off of this area, heavily based off of this area, that is more maze-like and pretty frustrating. But even then there, it's pretty interesting. And if we talk to this guy, we get Fatten. It was just called Fat in the, the other version I've played. Which was kind of funny, but yeah, you just you just become fat, and you just you you, you goo you goo at people. And some of these effects are just weird. I don't I don't understand them. Where did my bicycle? Okay. But I don't know. This game is just. Very weird. I like it. But there's not a whole lot for me to do here anymore, so I think I'm gonna head back to the Nexus. And we're going to go. Eight, no, it's not that door, it's this door to get a, an effect that's right in here somewhere. Now these are one of the, this is one of the areas that, you know, you could be wandering around forever because the NPC you need to talk to is a wandering NPC in a massive void. So, just kind of gotta you know, walk around or bike around until you find them. And, you know, it's one of those things where if I don't find it within, you know, a relatively reasonable time, I... Hey, there, there we go. Hey, come back here. This one's a little hard to catch. Hey, 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 hey. There we go. And this is the effect I was talking about with the ghost ladies. Where... Basically what this effect does is when you meow it will attract certain NPCs to you. And there's a chance meowing will cause other effects. So you know. guys. Some of the void areas, I will admit, are very interesting. I think the void areas are probably my least favorite thing in this game, because, like, they're interesting, like, the first time you see them, but, like, there's some that are better than others. Like, this one, I mean, it's just the same sprite over and over and over again. And all they really are here for is to be used as landmarks, really. So you don't get lost. I don't know. Shield Folk World isn't my favorite of the bunch. I've probably been spoiled by fa other fan games, because... You know, there are some fan games of this game 
that have gotten really creative with their worlds. And we actually have to go back to this area, because um, I realized that I forgot one of the NPCs in here. See, uh, turns out that there's more than just that one hair monster while I'm running around in here. And I forgot about that. It wasn't until I read it on the wiki that I was like, oh yeah, there's like two of them in here somewhere. So, I'm off to go find the other one. And it should be around here somewhere. This isn't a big area. Here we go. Long hair. This one's pretty much just Maratsuki with long hair. Or with her hair down. I'm sure she has long hair if she has braids. But it's pretty much the same as the blonde. There's not a unique animation or anything with it. It's just. It's just cosmetic. Oops. So let's get out of on out of here. So next thing we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna head back to Dark World, which is it this one? No, that's not it. It's this one, is it? Oh yep. And we're just going to head back down here somewhere. We're gonna head. This should be like a little light, little arch looking thing. Hello, little guy. Little spooky little friend. But there should be something down here that we can go into to get our next effect. There it is. Not sure what to call this thing, but you know. It's here. We're here to get a specific effect, but first we're gonna head down to the right a little bit because there's something interesting that happens when we go this way. It's gonna I wanna do this first because if we go up we'll end up in an infinite area. And I don't wanna go to the infinite area just yet. Now it's pretty difficult to navigate this area, because all these plants get in the way, and there's rocks everywhere that you can't drive over. Oops, I'm dumb. It's up to the, up here a little bit more. It's just a matter of getting up there. Here we are. Ooh, what's this? Music? Woo! Oh well. So here we have Turnigans having a big old fun party without us. That's fun, I guess. And no, you can't actually go over there. All all of your ways over there are blocked by plants. So you get to just sit here and watch them have a picnic alone. Screw them. We don't need we, we don't need to join in on their picnic and their rice balls and their We don't need him. We don't need them. We don't need anybody. We're mad at Suki. We're fine being just alone. So now, if you head up, uh, head up from this area, I believe. And now we're in the infinite wilderness, and uh, it's pretty much 
just like the other areas, except the plants are a lot more sparse. It's just a lot more desert than anything. It's really not much of a wilderness at this point. And around here, there is a character we're looking for. For an effect we're looking for. And he's a bit difficult to find. And this is an area that I both love and hate, because on the one hand, I really like the way it looks. I really like the little droning background and everything. But it's also like really, the infinite part of it is also really sparse and really huge. It's really difficult to find what you're looking for. So I might have to end up cutting to find... Oh. Well, this is an area we can go into, but I'll go into there later, because I want to find this dude first. <laughs> so, funny thing, um, it took me so long to find this guy in this giant place that I actually had to stop recording, take a break, and uh, now it's the next day. So, yeah. But at least we got it now, so we can continue on with what we were doing. And I believe this is the towel effect. It's very cute. We just Matsuki sneezes. But. We're going to head off somewhere else, just for maybe a bit of exploration. Now that I'm not wandering around, I actually have, you know, a goal to get to. So hopefully, I can find the building that I need to get to. Here we are. This, I think, is where I want to be. This is a dark. Oh, whoopsies. I think this is a dark area, but I don't think there's really any way you can go in particular. I might have to switch to the lamp effect to see, but. Oh, yeah. There's this guy. He seems like a fun loving dude. I don't know what he's doing, but, you know, he seems friendly enough. I don't really think there's anything to do here other than see this man. But, you know. I think I'll head back to... Hold on. So, we need to go find that one symmetrical, like, little pattern of vines, cause like in a lot of like in this game and in the fan games pretty much if you see two objects that are symmetrical and have like a path it's probably to be assumed that you can go in it and it'll take you somewhere but the challenge is finding it in all of this I think it was east of this, of these two little blocks, so. This is just a really big area. And here we are. And now, it doesn't look like anything changed for me wandering through that, but. Do you go north through it? Yeah, you go north through it. <laughs> but still, 
you gotta go through it, and now we have little dancing vines. That's cute. And if we go through this fence, we can make our way up through these to get to a different area. Now we have these. I don't know what they are, what they're called, or you know, what they're supposed to be. I like them. I like them though. Hello, little dancing guys. And this is one of my favorite, like, little areas. It's just this giant stairway. Which, I don't know, there's just something just aesthetically pleasing about this that I really like. I don't know what that in the background is flying around. I don't know if anyone really knows, but, you know, we'll, we'll just ignore them. It. It's a really tall staircase. And now we're here, which is a another very nice area in the game. Bicycle has to end up all the way down here. It's kind of obnoxious. We have this person. Oh. Come back here. And they're gone. Well, it was nice knowing you, I guess. here will talk to me. And I just can't accept that. Oh, no, now they're all running away. Now you are reacting to me. Hold on. I'm gonna turn up the volume a little bit. And here we are in some some spooky ghost dimension. Now, before I wander off too far in this place, I would at least like to check a map. Now we're looking for a little ghosty fella in here. That is another one of those wandering NPCs. And this one will probably run away from me. I believe it, it's one of the harder ones to catch. But if we spot him... Oh, there he is. Come here. Come here. Spirit headband. And here we have it. Uh, it was called the Triangle Kerchief in the other version. But basically what it does is... You go invisible. 
And this will help with like the Torin again. You know, they won't be able to see you, so you cause you'll just be poofed away like a ghost. Which is a good thing, cause some of the next ones, some of the next uh, effects that we need are in Torinigan Riddle areas, so. I'm just gonna continue wandering around here for a little bit, see what else there is to see in here. It's pretty much just a really dark, spooky, like, maze area of grey buildings and whatnot. I saw a purple guy here. Hello? I saw something there, but I guess- oh! There he is. Hello, friend. Can you- If I- maybe if I- Yeah, that's it. I got money from killing them. I don't think money does anything. I think it might let you purchase something from the vending machines that you can find lying around in this game, but it, it literally doesn't do anything for you, it doesn't put anything in your inventory, it doesn't, you know, give you health or complete a quest, and, you know, it doesn't really do anything. Like most things, that's how most things are. Don't ask me why I'm going around stabbing weird globs in a ghost, wor ghost world. Just, it's just what I'm doing. Seems fitting. I think there's one other around here too. I think this area is only populated with like three weird blobby ghosts. to I call that here. Now here I would like to go to number worlds because we were there last time to go find the lamp effect I believe but there's a lot more places here to explore. So, we're gonna go find them. And if I can find them... It's not a very large area, so I'm not really using a map. But here's the first door we could go into. So I'm just gonna keep... Oh, I'm gonna hold on to this. Because, inside are just a bunch these. I may end up speeding this up. But really the only way you can get in to the other side is by like stabbing every single one. I don't remember if there's anything even on the other side. But Let me 
there's a door all the way under, I think, this way, if we go to. There's something odd about the fact that the scrolling- Oh, sorry, here it comes. The scrolling background of this area is just the map of the area scrolling away. There's just something odd about that, but... No, odd is this, this game's bread and butter, so I guess it works. So which area does this lead to? I know this area. I don't want to be here right just yet. I want to go somewhere else first. Maybe. Now one of these beds will teleport you somewhere. There's like a... Like a... One out of five chance that it will. But... Here's where we gotta be super duper careful. Now, where is. Now, they don't know where I am right now. Which is a good thing, because we're here to do this. I really do not like this place. I actually don't know if there's a way back. I could try these closets. Oh yeah, the closets are the way back. So if we can get somewhere where we can see... The effect that we just got is... Severed head. And we're literally just a severed head on the floor. It's a little bit morbid, but you know. It doesn't do anything when you press one. I always say you know, like, after something weird happens, like, as if people do know, and honestly, I don't think people actually know. I don't know. No one knows. Let's head on down to the other place I wanted to go. Hmm. Oh wait, it was over... There is a door somewhere down there, but I don't actually remember how to get to it. I don't know if it's very important, but there is... What I am looking for is... Hmm. seem to do anything with it right now. I think it's random chance whether or not this thing works or not. Correction, I was at the wrong one. It's this one that I need to be at. So, we, I think you need to do that. This is QQ Coon. Or at least, that's what people call him. Some people find him cute. I don't. I don't trust that smile. Now, uh, fair warning, this is kind of jump-scary, this part. Yeah. 
actually, yeah, that happened. Clearly was some sort of nightmare because Natatsuki woke up immediately afterwards. There are tons of theories about, like, what that means. Or, like, what QQ Kun is. But I won't get into them here. In fact, I think this is where I'm going to save and probably stop this video.